everybody, Green Man here. Got a fit Decato Maxi 2015. Gonna look at changing the discs and the pads. See the discs have got bad scoring on rusty bits and just as a matter of course I'm putting new discs on, gonna change the pads too. Uh, I've ordered some second set of discs. First set arrived, all the dimensions were right except for the um, inner circumference, uh, inner diameter of, of this here. It was too small. So there's a few sets of sizes for these. You're gonna have to be really careful, check all the dimensions when you're ordering because there's, there's about four different types for this van, depending on which setup it's got. So I've ordered some new ones and a mail. Tells you all the details. I'm going to pair them with the Ferodo Eco Friction pads. So we'll see how we get on. I think all the bits are in that box, not checked. So join me with it. Join me with this job and uh, let's see how we get on. First job is obviously make the van secure, put it in gear. You can't have the handbrake on because you're changing the, the discs and the pads. I'm also going to change the shoes as well inside here at the same time. So I've jacked it, left it on the jack. There's an axle stand under there as well and the wheels under there as a fail safe just in case anything happens and the van falls. It won't go any further than that wheel. Um, so I'm going to take this off, as you can see the wires chopped through on the brake wire sensor there, that was done before. So I'm going to take that off, that's two bolts at the back, one and one underneath. That'll come off, we'll prop that up or tie it up out of the way so we don't damage the hose. Then we'll look at getting this off. We'll take the shoes off inside, replace the shoes and springs, hub back on. I'm going to have to change these because I've not got any new ones locating pins. We'll open up the the, uh, the piston, push the piston back on the, the caliper, new pads in and then put it all back together. Two bolts back in, hopefully everything will be okay. So let's get the caliper off. Okay, so the bolts are out at the back, there at the bottom, and when I was trying to take this off, the caliper, which pulls off, it felt like it was stuck on, and because the pads were together, and there's a lip on the edge here, so what you've got to do, is I've got a decent sized screwdriver, and put a light on, you can see, that's the disc, the big bit in the middle. That's your piston. And what you do is you let me get this in. You just try and uh, well, you want a little bit of clearance, so you try and lever up there against the caliper here, against the body of the caliper, and then you pull in, you pull in this part of the caliper away, and it gives you a bit of tolerance then, and then that'll come off. Like so. So the disc's off. I've took the two locating pins out that we saw before. They were 12 mil. Those were 22. They're the uh, caliper bolts, two caliper bolts at the back, 22 mil. And they've had a bit of thread, thread lock on the end. See the blue screw lock. So this is the this is the uh, disc we've took off. The front's got the big gouging on it as you can see something's been picking up but at the back and if you can that's a hell of a big lip on the rim so they're quite heavily worn. If you look at the original thickness there's quite a big lip there 
which is making it a lot thinner than it should be on the overall diameter so it's probably not even intolerant to that anymore so once you get that off you're left with this what we're going to do there is your star wheel to adjust your handbrake wind your pads in and out they actually don't look bad sorry the shoes pad in and out the the shoes don't look too bad still look quite you see the metal and then there's the linings uh, but while we're doing it we'll fit new so they're held in with these clips spring clips we've got a new spring set for that the ends stop on there one end goes to the star wheel another spring clip in the top there just a case of popping those off and they're on a pin there's a pin in the back here and that just slides onto the pin and then the ends of it as you can see go into the slot there and go into the slot there on the end of the star wheel adjustment and the new set we've got Uh, Brimble. Let's have a look. We've got a new set of springs and clips. There. And then. I've got some new shoes. Those on. Now replace those. So I'll take them off and we'll come back to you. So the shoes are off now, springs are off, pins go in the hole there. There's one at the bottom. Hold the shoes on themselves. There the old shoes. And the old spring pins, clips. The clips, all you've got to do is that pins through from the back of the back of the, uh, that's the one that fits through the hole from the back and that goes through the shoe all you've got to do, you imagine is press those together because they fit under there so you just get a screwdriver, press that down lever it out and then your shoe will come off worth noting I don't know if it matters but when I took the spring off there's four turns there and there are three there and it was that way around it was the three at the top four at the bottom don't know if it actually matters um, but we're going to put them back the same as they were when they came off and the springs are on the outside facing out not on the back then you've got a little spring fits on that side hooks in there and hooks in on that one little star wheel mechanism just let it really a screw into a socket and that fits between the two ends there there's a slot there and a slot on the other side it goes in there so I'm going to put it back together and I'll show you when I've done it Ran out of light yesterday, so day two on the Decato rear brakes. As you can see, shoes are on, big springs on at the back, clips are on on the retaining pins, little springs on, adjusters on. Same on the bottom. 
four turns there, three turns there. Now, these spring clips, you know, I said you just press them down and pop them on. They're a nightmare. I spent, in total, just putting two on. Two hours. I just, they were so, there's no tolerance in them at all. Getting them on, they were so, so difficult. So, that's the Brembo type. The other type, which I took off, will that make ATE? They seem like a better thing. They close thinner, so you can get them under the head of the pin easier. These just didn't seem to have enough um, clearance to go under the head of the pin. They were a disaster to put on. Anyway, so they're on now. Next job is to mount the uh, disc on. What I forgot to show you earlier on was um, getting the brake pads out. So put the discs on, put the two retaining pins in, but to get the pads out of the calipers, you've got these clips. Put a screwdriver in there and lever it out. You can see there's one in. Put a screwdriver there and lever. And it pulls it out. And then that'll release the pads. And the pads will drop out of the middle of the caliper then. When you lift it off. There's some on the other side as well. You can't see because of the light. I'm going to do the back ones now and put the new pads in. So I've got the old pads out, the shim plate has come off the back of that when you can see where the piston's been. And just to compare, that's the old pad and the new one, like that. So it's quite a bit of wear, as you can see we're getting down to where the wire is on that, so we need changing. Got about an extra 8mm on the new one. So those are clips, they all come out. You can see the side of the pad. Not very good, you can see. So to get the new ones in, I've got to press the piston back because obviously that accounts for the wear. Put the light on, see if we can see any better. That piston, as the pads wear down, it comes further and further. Oh, As the pads wear down, the piston comes further and further out. So what I've done is I've just dropped the caliper on loosely, not bolted it, and I've just can't put the light on for you. I've just levered against the back there and pressed it back, 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 back. So it's pretty much right back. Let me show you. See if you can see anything moving. Oh, can't get any light on. So, pressing it back. Slowly moves back. So I'm doing this on my phone, so it's not the best. Right, okay, that's right back now. So I'll put the new pads in. So to make fitting these easier, in the kit, Get a little bolt, the lock, thread lock on it. That's for the caliper. Put the back there. Goes in there. And holds that part inside the frame that bolts to the assembly at the back. So you can lift it up. And I've just put a screwdriver through the hole and propped it up while I put the clips in. Put that clip in. Put the clip at the back in little spring clips that hold the shoes in place, pads in place, just like that they are. Um, that's the back one. So, 
That's the front one. <laughs> so all you do is, there's a ridge there. Okay, so you can see the clips are on. Wear sensor plugs in at the back, goes on a piece of metal bracket to hold it. See the two new pads, new disc, bolted, new pot goes in there. So that's all bolted up now. That's ready for the wheel back on. 